Dust 2 is back, and in Counter Strike 2, it has been a T sided heavy map, making Dust 2 the second most T sided map in the map pool right now after Anubis. But in the match between Spirit and Aurora, we saw a different story with only 42% of the rounds won being on the T side, making this an outlier of a game from all the other matches we have seen so far on Dust 2. But why? Well, Dust 2 as a map is dominated by long range fights all over the map and this forces the CTs to be more spread out and further away, since you need to focus these spots here, making the default setup on Dust2 from the CTs to be 2 on long, 1 short, 1 in mid and 1 on B. But when you are this spread out, well you need to rotate, and the time this takes is insane. Then Dust2 has some brutal sites to retake as a defender, from the tough long fights on A, unless you are drinking a Red Bull, to all the corners you need to clear on B. And to make matter even worse for the CTs, the routes to defend the sites are not easy to use. They are narrow, requires a lot of utility just to take it, and so much to clear. Just on long, if you want to retake A, you need to clear pit, car, this angle, towards spawn, short, site, and more. Or on B, just trying to walk to site is insanely hard. These doors make you an easy target, peeking window puts you in the open and clear view of so many angles, while if you thought it was easier going tunnels, well you will have to clear all of this. So as a CT, you are not going to give away these sites for free. And that is why the T site is so strong on Dust2, since this will allow you to take mid easier, run fakes and more, all to ruin the fundamental philosophy of not giving away site control the CTs has on Dust2. So how do CTs counter this? Well, CTs will focus on two key areas of the map, catwalk and mid, and this makes these two highly contested. Every default you will see on Dust2, the CTs will focus either of these two positions, long or mid, and fighting for the control of them. Well, now you understand the basic, let's dive into a match between Spirit and Aurora to see how Spirit dominated the CT side. But stop, this video took ages to make, so it would mean the world to me if you left a comment and subscribe to the channel. Well, let's get over to the video. Let's quickfire some key lessons from all of them and their T side. In pistol round, Aurora went all 5 players B, hoping that Spirit had focused on armor and flashes and not any smokes in utility for B. While Spirit was set up in a 2 to 1, only one pair towards A holding long in sight, 2 in middle and 2 towards B. This setup for Spirit hinged on this smoke to stop any fast pushes to B sight, to give the mid pairs time to push behind in middle. But the problem for Spirit arose when Aurora decided to rotate, since they were just much faster. Like, look at how much Aurora rotates before even Spirit are able to move, something that wins Aurora a lot of map control, and quite clear early advantage. So what is the issue for Spirit? They have good positions, well yes, but as we said, there are two key areas on Dust2, and that is long in middle, and look at Spirit, they has no players really holding it, and rather players getting info from them. And that is two different concepts, controlling an area meaning you will be all the way here on long, or here in middle, and taking control of it, while getting info means you will be playing here towards long or here towards middle, and as soon as the pressure is amplified, on the spot you will just fall off and give away your supposed map control, and this is what Aurora will be abusing with the Xbox smoke drawn from spawn. And then, taking catwalk. Since Spirit are not even holding top, middle or short, only Donk trying to play in the lower tunnels, a spot that will be cut off by the Xbox smoke. But this round is key to understand what Spirit did wrong, so let's look at Aurora's setup when they are now taking A in the pistol round. As you can see, they have 4 players catwalk, and only one solo top mid. And this might not sound like a big deal, but let's try to analyze the issue with this setup. Short will be one fast, and the solo long player will be able to help, and in a perfect world, this is an amazing setup. You will win both areas of the map, that is crucial on Dust2, but let's now say Spirit would fight for long, and push this solo player out and take away crucial map control. Well now he is just too far away and much more behind and making himself an easy and solo target Spirit can abuse. And this will be important later in the game. Back to the breakdown. On the short take, a lot of utility are being used from both teams. And even though Spirit has a flanker from short and 3 players in CTs holding for the catwalk push, they are still not able to convert this round and Aurora takes the first round of the match. You get two players just beneath the CT spawn. Good frag grenade, chipping away at four of them. Follow up nade only chips lackey. Three CTs standing out in the open. Bit of a shooting gallery, but Donk is fast. Comes around. In round two, we see Spirit with a default setup of two to one, with two going A long to win map control, where they will use a Molotov towards the doors to split up Aurora's long push, and then able to find the first two kills of the round. As well as in middle, the two spirit player has a long and drawn out fight towards the top mid player shooting him low to 8 HP. But then disaster strikes, here we'll see after spirit wins long, they will just give it away. They start with a great play to take long, only to go super passive and leave it up for grabs. Perfect scenario for Aurora. While we need to talk about outliers, 
In this round, Spirit has the Merge Guns and Utility with 2 Scouts and 3 Pistols, while Aurora has AK, Galils and more. So Spirit kind of hoped to win the mid fight and long fight at the same time, but since they did not win it, they are now left weaker and with less map control, since Aurora will have the better guns to win back mid and long when needed. So why aren't Aurora doing it right away? Well, when playing versus a lower buy, you want to abuse the fact that they have less utility and worse guns early, to figure out how the CTs will play, but make sure they have as little utility as possible for when they will start to execute. And this all starts with long as Aurora has now taken it from Spirit, who are more back to an information gathering post towards long. Here Spirit are forced to a weaker hold towards A, with 2 in CT spawn and 1 on cat, while the first point of contact will be this player towards Olaf. I only call it this because of this clip right here. And this is a key fight, look at Aurora. They have 2 players quite tagged up, so a scout here is deadly, while Norvi just runs him over. It's nothing else to say, Aurora gets sight, and we take a time for Spirit is lackluster with only one flash left. Flash through it, pack of players in, Chopper's got the pistol frag, Chopper's got himself a second, but it gets cleared, there we go, held on to nicely, everybody- What has Spirit learned? Well, to give long and not fight for middle is not an option, when you're on the city side of dust too. And going into the next few rounds in this half we will break down, you will see that Spirit has learned and will dominate the city side. It's a first buy round for both teams, so what will the teams do? Spirit are set up in a 2-1-2, with 2 players long that will fight for long control, 2 towards B side to hold it and then 1 in middle, while Aurora will early on try to win A long control with 4 players and 1 lurking outside of B. So let's focus on what is important. On this amazing spawn towards long, Shiro will take the long control with the AWP, while Magix will be behind him. And this is a fun setup. This ensures Magix is safe and can throw counter flashes and more to support his upper, as well as if Shiro were to get pushed, Magix in his off angle can deal with the push so Shiro can get back to a safe angle. But we are seeing a lot of utility being used on this long fight, with Aurora investing 2 players early just to throw flashes for 2 other players to take long control. And it might look dumb, but this works. The delayed flashes are enough to force Spirit to leave long fast, but Aurora are too late and can't abuse the weak positions of the CTS players from long, as they have been smoked off. And Norvig goes into the smoke on long and asks for a flash to take control of it. But here Spirit will use a nade to break the smoke, and here Spirit finds the opening of the round. And they will with this kill win this part of long, crucial for the CTs now that there is an open play for them. Now let's jump back sometime and see what happened in the middle this round. So here it's Chopper that is tasked with holding mid. Usually there should be an AWP here, but when the AWP has such a great long spawn, he is forced to go long, and Chopper will then hold mid. Look how Chopper moves, like this, and then peeks the door. This will make him a harder target to kill if there was an AWP holding from suicide. And it's why he barely peeks out the middle and starts to play safe. As soon as the AWP shows himself to be on long, we will see the lurker of Aurora starting to take mid, since if there is no AWPer holding middle, he can then have an easier time winning that for his team, especially now that he have lost this part of A long. And here Kansi wins his 1v1 against Chopper rather fast. And mid control has almost been taken, but here is the issue, since B early on was smoked off like this, Spirit had no need to have 2 players there. Meaning Spirit has sent one more player middle, and here after Kansi finds the first kill, he walks into the second mid player and is found, so Spirit keeps the man advantage. Let's look at the map and setup, Aurora only has long control while Spirit are controlling mid, B and catwalk. So to just play around long take should not be hard for them at all. As well as there is one more issue. Aurora only has one smoke. That is just not enough to cross CT from long to sight without being seen. So here they need to invest a lot of utility to just win this part of the map. And the default on the CT smoke is to boost. So when the smokes on CT comes in, Spirit will flash and then boost one player up after this smoke towards long from Spirit lands. And here they can just clean up the round. Smoke on catwalk makes it a little weird for Black. Oh, He'll be beautiful. caught trying to climb over it. Duncan Magic still able to combine if they want to, but to pop the smoke open yet <laughs> once again is Aurora's game plan. Shiro's support off catwalk. Caught out in the open. Counterpicked, but the push through as expected. Spawns are a crucial part of Dust 2. I did not touch on in the intro when I broke down Dust 2 fundamentals as a map and CT player. So if you hear any players in a pug say, let's play spawn, let me explain it to you. Dust2 has two crucial spots where spawns will dedicate the round. That is long and B side or middle. Since if you have the best spawn for long, you will just be before the T on long, setting yourself up for an amazing advantage. While on B, if you have the worst spawn to go B, you might lose to a fast B push that will see you be run down. So here Spirit uses this to their advantage. Let's see all of this from Sontix POV. Sontix has the best spawn to take long, with this one. 
And here he will do two crucial things. The first is the padding. It has to be as precise as possible, since this will allow him to do the second most crucial thing, to molt of the long doors, and then in time, turn for the flashes that T will throw to, to push the molt of. If he misses this by a split second, he would have been blinded here while throwing the long molt of. But before we see what happens here, let's see how the rest of Spirit are set up in this round. Spirit are going for an early 3-2 setup with 3 towards A and 2 towards B side. But why leave mid open? Well, like in many maps in Counter Strike 2, if you can just win one out of the few crucial spots, it's easier to then after take all the other spots back. So for this round, Spirit will focus on long control to win all of it, while the players on B will be gathering info from mid if needed, but would rather stay on B. So let's look at long. A lot of utility are being used early to fight for who keeps this part of long. But due to this amazing position from Sontix and the early Molotov, Spirit can not only win this part of long, but by Molotoving one more time but now deeper into the long doors, they are forcing Aurora all the way back and out of the long doors. And now Spirit has actually won long control, as well as Magix, with a smoke out in his hand, goes to jump spot here for the doors and for info. And this 19 second focus and fighting on long has paid off massively, since now Spirit can free up one long player and the A-side player can go towards middle to help. In the meantime, Aurora wants to take some map control back, after being stopped towards long. And here Kenzie goes for this smoke, and this has to be precise, and here it misses, and just looks dumb. But since Spirit are not too worried about middle, he will not be punished for this missed throw. But look at Spirit, they have now two players able to hold mid, since nothing has happened towards B. And that is when the issue will arise for Aurora, since using so much time and utility to take long and not winning it forces them to be a much weaker state as a team and they need to win some map control everywhere else on the map. In mid, we are seeing a 1 for 1 trade, but on this kill, Aurora splits up massively. And here they are going 1 back to long, 1 staying in middle and 2 towards B. Why? Remember, Counter Strike 2 is a game about time management. And now with less than a minute left, it does not look good, since to take map control, something Aurora needs will take them time, a lot of time. Aurora wants to win back long, so a split is a good option. Force the long player to focus their attention to different spots on the map is always good as well. But the time is getting low, really low. Here Aurora wants a split push and some utility are able to win long control and catwalk, but the time goes too low. And by just missing with one second, they have lost the round. Standing in the open, Shiro diving for the cover, eats the flashbang, goes down. But it's the time, it's a desperate attempt. Whoa. In with Bomb. No. Ugh, too late. Missed the throw. And so it is all for naught. Team Spirit may lose two players. Round 11 will see a new way you can abuse the long control Spirit has. But we will get back to that. Spirit starts the round in a 4 1. Wait, what? 4 towards A and only 1 towards middle? Well, you need to understand the context. A common way to take Catwalk. Well, it's to have one player boost it up here, like Spirit are doing, to make sure he will be up Catwalk faster on the T side. So when Spirit starts with 4 and A, it's to have two players taking long, one catwalk, and the last will walk back to middle later after boosting. While Aurora are going three towards B, where since Spirit always smoke them, there is no point of having three players play behind it. So here they will send two of the B players on the ground. Then they will have one top middle with the AWP and then one outside of long. On long, some utilities are being used. But again, a deep multi for Spirit forces Aurora to give away long control. Aurora finally hits the mid smoke. But look at Spirit. They see this smoke and it can only mean one thing. Catwalk will be hit. And we can see both CT's player will run back towards A side to hold and leave CT quite open and unguarded. But wait, what happened to the early Catwalk player of Spirit? Can't he just hold this? Well, when the T's were not showing themselves, you need to think like he did. No player from Spirit was watching towards top middle and the left side. So he got scared he might have been executed on. Now that his long teammate just won long control. So he fell off to go middle. Aurora are taking catwalk control. But remember, the perfect setup for pistol, well, it's not that good anymore. Here they will have three players catwalk, one towards B and one in top middle. And now this is not good, since look at the map control Spirit has, where they control all of this while Aurora, well, they really only has top mid and some catwalk control, making this lurker quite useless. Since in very few cases will Spirit be sending a player to rotate around from middle, if Spirit still has control of long and CT ramp. To take sight from catwalk is not easy, and we can see a lot of utility being invested to take this map control. But here, one crucial utility is missing, and that is a good flash for the AWP here, since due to the elevation of long compared to catwalk, an AWP enjoys this angle, since he can play a perfect off angle to all the T's running from catwalk to clear everything. As well as the utility from Aurora are not enough to force away Shiro, where they will molt of ramp and CT, but that is not good enough. And here, and here they set up Shiro for the perfect storm. Shiro will molt of the side of Shiro will molt of this side of the site, 
To force any Aurora player if they want to plant before Spirit can rotate, they have to swing Shiro and up. And that is why having long control was so crucial for Spirit and their CT half. Since Shiro gets so much room to play with. And that is always why Spirit has a player holding the double doors for Shiro. To hold for, you guessed it, the top mid player that is such a useless spot when Aurora do not have long control. And a great retakes win Spirit around. No, he's decided to come up from spawn. So again, Team Spirit playing the retake all from one direction. Lackey being tagged on site. And Deco thinking about maybe going for a swing. But Shiro's gonna keep him locked in and honest. More damage done inside sight. Lackey getting a little cheesy within that smoke. And Deco does indeed pull one off the retake. Can he do any more? No sir. Here for a fan service as well. Here are the best utilities for Dust 2. It's made by my good friend Reiner CS. So check him out. It's so cool to see that everything that worked for Aurora in the pistol run was what Spirit could abuse to dominate on the CT side winning 66% of their CT rounds on Dust 2, from taking long to abusing weak positions and map control. And if you want to watch other pro breakdowns, check out the two videos on the screen. Thank you for watching and our two videos YouTube told me you would like. Bye!